Hello guys, we are here again from Inside Geeks with another review and unboxing of a Speedlink product. This time we have the Amparo, which is a portable stereo speaker that works uh, by Bluetooth but also has other interesting functions. Uh, here we have the box of the Amparo. As you can see, on the front of the box we have the, a picture of the speaker itself and we also have some other things that allow us to understand what other features this portable speaker gives gives to the user. Uh, we also can see the Speedlink logo and the usual color scheme of lifestyle Speedlink products which is the white uh, background alongside red contrast. We also can see that it has dedicated FM radio which is also always interesting to have. Uh, we also have a micro SD card slot which means you can reproduce files directly from the micro SD card. Uh, it has up to 12 hours of playtime, which is quite a decent battery life. Uh, some, uh, it has an hands-free function and some other things that we will see when we open the box. On the back, we have on the left side uh, some of the capabilities of the product, like the micro SD and auxiliary, auxiliary mode. Uh, we also have the hands-free function, which is always useful for a car, for example and the FM radio mode. On the right side we have some info about the product in different languages, one of them Portuguese as you can see in the middle. Uh, so let's just open it up, as you can see you, we have seals on top, we have seals over here but we, al we already un haven't done one of them on top so it will allow for an easier opening. We just open it up. We just open it up like this, which reveals a plastic, which reveals a plastic casing, where you have the Amparo on the front and all the other accessories on the back. As you can see. The Amparo is protected by a plastic, by some kind of a plastic bag, which is interesting to protect it during dust, from dust or something over, like that over the transport. Uh, we also have a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cable, which allows us to connect the Amparo to devices that don't possess U uh, Bluetooth. We have an uh, info guide of the Amparo, which is a manual, and also a quick install guide. Uh, to end, we also have this micro USB cable that will allow us to charge the with, will allow us to charge the Amparo. So let's just now focus on the speaker itself. As you can see, you just take it off you just take it off the the bag and you can see it here so the speaker is quite interesting the the front part seems to be aluminum and the outer edge you see this black part is made out of rubber which will probably allow it for quite a big durability even in tough environments uh, once we go to the back, we can find the on-off switch of the speaker as that was the sound of the speaker turning on as you could heard which is also kind of resemblant of a Windows sound I guess but I'm not sure. Um, we also have the line in where you plug the 3.5mm connector uh, the micro SD in where you plug in, where you put your micro SD card if you want to reproduce files directly from it from the speaker and um, the micro USB input where you charge the speaker. On top we have the forward and backward buttons and we also have a play and pause button. I suppose the M will allow us to change eight, 9.8 megahertz yeah exactly the mode allows us to, to change the um, the function of this of the speaker at the moment and on top 
we also have this hole that I assume is the microphone. So on the first look the speaker seems really good and really competent so we will figure out some of the functions later when we do the, f the full review but for now stick with us just for a bit as we try to we will just give you the full info when we come back for the full review so see you in a bit guys hello guys so now we're back and we're gonna tell you something more about the speedlink Amparo so uh, uh, I didn't tell you but you can you see this rubber thing you can pull it off although I recommend you keeping Five, it on zero okay so I mistakenly pressed the mode button that changed it into that changed the Amparo into radio mode uh, so as you can see it works uh, and in order to change the, the the frequency you just push one time here and it will find the next the next radio station so about the um, micro SD slot uh, it plays by default which means whenever you put the SD card which, which has to be in FAT32 file system uh, it plays the songs out of it. I suppose you should, for better for the best results, you should put it in the root of the card. So up next, to pair the Amparo with your with your smartphone, it's really easy. You just turn the Amparo on and then find find it on your device's Bluetooth list. And I'm gonna stop it here because I still want to show you this afterwards. Um, yeah, so it's really easy. You just find it on your uh, device's. Bluetooth list. Uh, about the build quality, the only thing that I don't like much about it is that you can see here it gets fingerprints on it really easy, but it's the only downside. So now let's talk about the sound quality. The sound quality is really good for a speaker of this size and um, the worst part about it that some of you may not like is that the low end uh, just isn't here. Uh, I mean you can start listening about 80 Hz or so but no sub bass at all which is normal I think because there is no subwoofer or woofer kind of driver in this speaker but what this makes is for a really good quality mids because the bass doesn't bleed into the mids and it just it just sounds really good even for rock or new metal kind of stuff, uh, I really enjoy how guitar sounds on the, the speaker. The high end is also really good, so I would say that it has one of the clearest sound qualities on all of the speakers that we have tested here, but it just lacks a lot on the low end department. I'll play a bit of Daft Punk for you guys to hear. Uh, you have to remember that you're listening to the microphone, which might uh, change the sound quality a bit. Uh, also, a neat feature that you have is that in order to raise volume, you press continuously this, and once you and once you and once you reach the maximum volume. Once you reach the maximum volume, it, it warns you. As, I'm just gonna stop now. As you can see, the sound quality is really interesting for a speaker of this size, and I really enjoyed the feature that tells you when to stop. About the duration of the battery, the 12 hours uh, announced came really close to what we really tested. We had about 10 hours with the sounds uh, close to like three quarters of the max of this speaker which is pretty good uh, so I guess to conclude we just have to say that the Amparo is a really interesting proposal for the price if you are looking for a portable speaker that excels mainly in mids and eyes uh, I would not recommend this for those that are looking for a lot of bass on a portable speaker which is kinda something you really can't get so I wouldn't be worried but this is also a really nice speaker because it's super portable since it's small and it makes for a good speaker even for your everyday use for use on a laptop or something like that because the sound is really clear 
once again Speedlink proves us that it can, makes, it can make a decent product at an affordable price. So as always leave a comment if you want to know anything about it. Uh, just comment and subscribe, share the video, tell us what you want to see on the website and we'll try to help you. See you on the next video guys.